Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Victor Perez with Florida Biz Review. I'm back with another helpful video for business owners and today I'm going to talk about why you should have a blog post set up on your website. Now I've encountered plenty of websites that have blog posts, some that don't, and then some that do have a blog but aren't utilizing it for SEO purposes. Now I can understand uh, if you're maybe more into like a creative writing type of business then you might not want to mess too much with your articles but if you aren't using any key terms and if you're not setting up your headings and you're not actually trying to rank for certain words with the stuff that you write then you're kind of cutting yourself short there's a whole lot that you can do to actually get connected with new people that uh, can easily be done with blog posts so I kind of want to talk a little bit about that so you can see because if you do have a blog post set up right now and you haven't optimized it then it can be a great idea to go back there and start fitting in certain key terms so that you can use all this great writing for your benefit and to meet some new clients as well so for this video, I pulled up two businesses. Uh, I was thinking, okay, what's the most competitive I can think of out here for SEO? So, of course, uh, lawyers, <laughs> attorneys, attorney offices would be a great place to start. So, this one, it is kind of at random that I picked this one. I believe it was on the 8th or ninth page of Google uh, when I typed in lawyers in Orlando. So this is kind of like at the bottom of the ranking. Uh, of course, there's other websites way farther down, but if you're on the ninth page, then pretty much nobody's going to find you from a Google search result. So uh, as you can see, it's not the most modern design. It's, I mean, there's nothing really completely wrong with the visual uh, aspect of this website, of course, but maybe some modernization could help them out visually. But as you can see uh, in this top area here now they do have a bunch of articles that are showing up right here right and even when you go down here you can tell that they've got certain articles kind of published everywhere but they don't have a blog page or one page that happens to have a whole lot of content where they can keep adding every single week so, of course, every website's going to have, you know, their services up here. And then it's great to have a full-length article for every service you provide. So, already right off the bat, I can see just because they've organized their website to show all their services. And look, they've got Orlando in there. So, you can tell these guys know what SEO is and they're putting in some effort for it. I'm going to kind of go through this a little bit so that you can see because they're putting in effort for SEO but they're not ranking so let me try to break this down every article that they have here this is a good idea putting the name of your service as a key term so uh, maybe a little bit uh, something to increase this and make it a little bit better would be to have Orlando at the end of the tagline but that's okay I'm sure this is still doing a little bit of something so as you can see every type of service you do and you can get creative so that you can add more onto what you're already doing but it gives you an opportunity to then write about the service which means that you can start fitting in valuable key terms within the paragraphs you want to focus mostly on your h1 and h2 tags because those are the main ones that the algorithm picks up so you can tell that they've used their they've utilized the the title of this article for the ranking because the title is a key term so again a key term is just anything people type in to get connected to your service so um, now I don't see too many key terms in here obviously they have a list of uh, important terms right there but I wouldn't consider any of these key terms because they don't have you know the city name they don't have anything other than just the title so class actions, of course, it would take you forever to rank uh, on just the two words class action, but maybe class action lawsuits in Orlando, well now that's a key term. So just from looking at this website just a little bit, I can see that they're putting in a little bit of work for SEO into their articles, 
but they could definitely be fitting a whole lot more in here and you're not limited to just one heading you could put in several of course if you start putting in too many then that's not going to do you any good but so far it looks like from their written content these guys are doing very minimal seo work so now i want to switch over to the the, the people in first place for uh, lawyers in orlando and I'm going to break down what they're doing. So again, these guys, they do have articles, but they don't have a blog set up that allows them to put new articles every single week. These guys, uh, very, very, uh, you can tell they're spending a lot of marketing, right? Uh, the website's a little bit more vibrant. It's got some more animations in there, as you can see. And it's got a lot of high quality pictures. But most importantly, and what I want to focus on in this video, they got a blog. They got a really good blog setup, it looks like, that goes all the way back to 2013. So I'm going to pull that one up, and I'm going to pull up this 2018. Let's see. So these are the oldest ones. So this is all the way back from 2013. Yeah. See, they've even got their... Oh, I hate that. They've even got their backlinks right there that takes you to the proper part of their website so boom like these guys have obviously been doing some SEO work for a long time if they have blog posts all the way back in 2013 so let me read through this really quick so this one talks about red light cameras uh, smart move for central Florida anything that is actually relevant to your topic because if you can write about it and if you can hit on the same key terms that you're already trying to rank for that's going to do a whole lot for you. So, I mean, knowledgeable attorney, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so, these are backlinks here. Uh, so, basically, anyone that's looking up stuff for red light cameras, they might end up landing here, but even if they don't, the Google algorithm will pick it up and start seeing the same key terms, so it'll boost up their ranking. Now, signs of yeah, signs of nursing home abuse. If you're researching this stuff, then obviously you land on this site. It's going to be uh, a pretty easy little lead for them to grab up. Um, let me look through. Yeah, so they've got so much content on here. Just looking for key terms here. Personal injury. They've got a whole bunch of stuff done, as you can see, because now let me go back to. Yeah. So they're publishing quite frequently. Looks like at least once a week, twice a week. And this alone is probably doing a whole lot for them as far as ranking goes. So these guys their first page uh, the ones I showed you first they were eighth or ninth so you can kinda start seeing obviously there's more to SEO than just the content writing but if you're already taking care of the backlinks or if you've already let's say landed on some big newspapers near you and you already have a bunch of valuable links that are driving some traffic over there's still more to be done with content work and there's so much that you can do on your own website before you even start paying other people to do stuff on other sites but the whole thing with SEO is well once you filled up your site with this much work now you can go over to a backlink uh, so a different site that holds your link and then just rinse and repeat just keep doing it again keep writing over and over and over again keep trying to hit those same key terms but that's why you should have a blog and if you don't have one, then a good thing to do, or if, let's say you do have one, but you're not utilizing key terms or backlinks, go back through it, put some links, put some hyperlinks over certain words that make sense. So this one slips, slips, trips, and falls. You click on it, it takes you over to their slip and fall uh, services page, which of course has even more key terms in it. Another thing you want to focus on is the headings. So go on there, make sure that your title and your headings have some sort of key terms in there. 
anything that lets you put those words in there that people are searching for, it's going to benefit you a whole lot. So if you've already got a blog post, you're definitely setting it up for SEO. If you don't have a blog post, start doing it. Maybe do a little bit of research on content writing or what good content writing is. I'll probably do a video on that in the future. But if you have any more questions related to this topic, definitely let me know. But that does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure you subscribe too because that helps me out a lot. So have a good rest of your day and good luck with your business.